this remake of the classic French farce, La Cage of Follets, uh, engaged couple Val Goldman and Barbara Keeley shakingly introduced their future in-laws. Val's father, Armand, a gay Miami drag club owner, pretends to be straight and attempts to hide his relationship with Albert, his life partner and the club's flamboyant star's attraction. So as to please Barbara's father, con controversial Republican, Senator Kevin Keeley, played by Gene Hackman. This is The Birdcage on Night at the Movies on the Cross Border Interviews with Chris Brown and Michael Nichols Pate. Pop, I'm getting married. <laughs> it's a girl. I, I met her at school. It's this wonderful, uh, what, what do you, are you upset? But let me tell you why. Don't use that tone to me. What tone? That sarcastic, contemptuous tone that means you know everything because you're a man and I know nothing because I'm a woman. You're not a woman. Oh, you bastard. Are you crazy? You can't get married. It's out of the question. We've been sleeping together for a year. Oh, God. Has he been tested? Oh, Kevin. Yes, and so have I. Oh! Uh, who's his father? His father is in the arts. You do an eclectic celebration of the dance. You do Fosse, Fosse, Fosse. You do Martha Graham, Martha Graham, Martha Graham. You know, Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. But you keep it all inside. What does the mother do? She's a housewife. Oh, I could play it straight. You take your knife. And you smear. Men smear. Smear, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Get the <laughs> pinky down. <laughs> right, hold the knife boldly in yes. the strength. <laughs> no, I'm gonna like pierce the toast. <laughs> Al, you old so-and-so. How do you feel about that call today? I mean, the Dolphins. Fourth and three play on their 30-yard line with only 34 seconds to go. How do you think I feel? <sighs> Betrayed, bewildered. Call me. Perfect. Won't you come in? Senator Keeley, Mrs. Keeley, come here and give me a hug. Oh! We are I got all my sisters with me. I've never felt such tension. It's like riding a psychotic horse towards a burning stable. Oh God, it's a nightmare. Get up, everybody, and sing. Oh. There's something about the father and the skull. I can't put my finger on it's it. It's nothing. What do you mean? It's, it's nothing. It is Dad, something. It is nothing. Something very strange is going on. We are family. How about them dolphins? What do you mean? Was that good enough? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Birdcage, Michael, uh, Robin Williams, Nathan Lane. Uh, this was... Uh, and still is to this day my father's go-to movie whenever I go back with my husband and say, hey, do you want to watch The Bird Cage? Oh, no. <laughs> it oh, is, no. It is the go-to movie of our family. Uh, Michael, what did you think of The Bird Cage? I don't like this movie. What? What don't you like about this movie? Um, I think it's a, an inferior version to the musical on Broadway. Um, Which came I, first? I think the musical came first. La Cage à Faux. Uh, oh, 78. Was the Cage oh, à Faux? 84 was the musical 73 was the actual film so it was a film yeah and that yeah, yeah. no i think that this was them trying to just be like who cares about that and i didn't i just i feel like there's superior versions to this story and nathan lane drives me up the wall Dri fl 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 flames flames on the side of my face um not a fan i listen this is a movie i have seen many 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 times though because it is one of my husband's favorite um i do like robin williams in this and 
I, I think it's a highly quotable movie. Uh, the best character is Agador Spartacus. And I said what I said. That's uh, Hank Azaria, right? The housekeeper? Yes. Hank is area trying to walk with shoes, even though he he, he makes it shoes. <laughs> I think the people on the dinner plates are playing football <laughs> or they're wrestling. Yeah. Um, I I'm gonna be, I'm gonna take a controversial take on this, uh, Michael, you because love I love this movie. <laughs> this is like the uh, the gay like holy bible in my books because this was this is me and my husband this is me and my husband to a t my husband always tells me you're nathan says, lane no i'm robin williams i am robin williams too. no um he always says to me that i'm a home uh, i i am a homophobic uh homosexual because I always try to hide the fact that I'm married. Like I always say, oh, my partner or this, that, and the other when I'm out and about. I won't hold hands out in public. It's just, oh no, Michael's getting ready. <laughs> so no, uh, wow. he sees he sees that Robin Williams in me and he is Nathan Lane to a T. Like he is the overly flamboyant one of the two of us. Um, and I love Gene Hackman. I love Gene Hackman to a T. And the fact that the the coalition for family morality it was just it's an overall great movie i'm so upset that you don't like this movie how can we be friends? I like christine baranski oh christine baranski i love anything she does like she can do no wrong in my eyes whoa <laughs> you are not about to come from a girl christine baranski maybe maybe we should do that next week maybe we should talk about mama mia and then i'll tell you my true feelings about christine hold Martin. on no 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 <laughs> real quick sidebar meryl streep ruined mama mia sure she can't sing and i will die or pierce brosnan or colin firth or christine baranski it wasn't christine or Baranski's the other fault. one well, she should not have sang uh, that uh, Doesn't Your Mother Know song because that was like nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> Nail? Actually, no, no, we can't. Tell, we can't. I, ooh, I will fight about Mama Mia. Um, all my life I had to fight and I will fight. Well, let's do it. Um, but I like Nathan Lane. I like Gene Hackman. Nathan, uh, I like Robin Williams. I like Gene Hackman. I think they play off well off of each other. And... Nathan Lane, while not my favorite part of the movie, he does have some great lines in, in it. Um, Hank Azaria is great. I love, uh, what's her name? Barbara's mother, the senator's wife. She reminds me of such a true 1990s, 1980s Republican wife of, oh, this is so nice. It was just a great movie, in my opinion. I'm going to start off this one because... I think I already know what Michael's going to say here. I'm going to give this movie a five out of five. I think bar none, it was a movie that no matter how I'm feeling, I can throw on and I can still just find hilarity in it the entire time. Michael, out of one, what would you give it? <laughs> give it like a three. Oh, wow. I'm actually very shocked. I'm very shocked. I thought you were going to say like one or two. So. Like, it's fine. It's just not like, I'm not like obsessed. Like it's like it's love Simon level for me. Like it's fine. Like there's aspects I enjoy. I might if I was doing half, I'd probably do two and a half for this one and Simon as a three. Like Simon definitely ranks above this one, but like eh, it's fine. Okay. Well, that has been the bird cage on Night of the Movies on the Cross Border Interviews with Chris Graham and Michael Nichols Pate. Talk to you later, everyone. 